All right, let's try a Yusaku solar problem. Uh, so what's going on here? Uh, I see, you want to stop Calvid-19. Yes, that would be good. Uh, we have 10 pi farms that are connected. A graph or possibly a tree. Uh, I see. So either you can uh, move along an edge to an adjacent farm, or you can double the number of infections at this farm. Uh, okay, and it is a tree. Oh, yeah, and minus one works. Okay, so. Uh, if you have n connected things connected by n minus one edges, that's a tree, right? That is a graph with no cycles. And the reason there are no cycles is each edge can only connect two things, right? So if you think of the number of uh, components, that is like separated groups of farms, uh, each edge can only decrease that by at most one by connecting two previously separated groups into one group. And so if you start with n things and you're supposed to get them all connected with n minus one edges, then each edge has to connect to previously unconnected groups and there are no cycles. So that makes it a tree. Um, right. So the question is, uh, how long does it take to spread the disease to every farm? Um, so we could spend the first two days doubling the number of cows uh, to four in farm one, and then the next three days uh, sort of distributing those cows um, to the, the you know, farms two, three, and four. I see. And we have to leave a cow in farm one. Um, okay. So I think what we can do is. Uh, So we have farm one, and then there's a bunch of uh, subtrees coming out of this. This is the way to think about trees, is that a tree is a node with a bunch of children which are themselves trees. Um, and so one thing to note is that you only want to walk one cow uh, along an edge, because right instead of walking two cows along this edge, you could have just doubled the number of uh, cows here. So every edge will be walked uh, at most once, and actually every edge will be walked exactly once because we need to walk each edge to uh, like get to all of the farms. Um, and let's see. So what's left to solve then? Uh, so I guess how many doublings you need to do with each vertex. Uh, and that is just enough doublings to um, sort of send a cow down each of your children. Uh, so that seems simple enough. We have to walk every edge once, and we have to uh, double at every node um, enough times you know, to get, so it's like log of number of children plus one for yourself. Uh, so that's it, I think. Um, So this one, I'm going to do these plus plus. Uh, so first we read in the number of vertices, and then we read in uh, n minus one edges. Exactly one parent except for node zero. Uh, so 
So the number of children is just uh, the number of edges minus one. One indexed, and we would like them to come in at zero indexed. Twelve. Oh, this is the right answer either. Uh, Five, which is the right answer, so let's give it a try. Okay, so it looks like that worked. Uh, it's kind of nice to think about this problem enough to realize that we don't actually need to uh, like traverse the tree at all, right? We don't need to do a DFS or DFS or anything. We just need to figure out the degree of each vertex. Um, because all that matters is the number of children uh, of every node, which is just the um, degree minus one, uh, or if you're at the root, it's the degree. Right, so all I'm saying is we need to know how many children uh, everything has to figure out the doubling time. So this guy has uh, just his, right, the degree is the number of edges connected. Um, so this guy has degree children, and then everyone else. Uh, one of their edges is the parent, and all the other edges are children, so it's just degree minus one. Um, so that's what this is saying. All right, this one special guy has no parent, so everyone's a child, and then everyone else has one parent. Um, so you just double until you hit this goal. So that's the problem.